Researchers have developed a way to read your mind with unprecedented clarity. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, and we need to take a look at this. For years now, researchers have been on a quest to use functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRIs, or electroencephalography machines, EEGs, to actually read what people are thinking, what's on their mind, to recreate images that are going through people's heads as they're watching a movie or something like this. Well, as AI has gotten better, so has their ability to see what we are thinking. I mean, as an example, here is 2013. That is the resolution of images they were able to capture. And if you fast forward to 2017, you can see where the new AI is able to take the images that are being seen and put them out with this resolution. In just that small amount of time, these machines have been able to go from picking out what number you're thinking about to whole sentences. There's a whole new area developing called neural law, where they want to use brain scans to help convict criminals. They say they're a lot more accurate than a lie detector test. In fact, this technology is blowing up so fast, there's researchers in this field that already want to see new human rights added that legislate when and how our brains can be read and what information can be gleaned from them. Just earlier this month, researchers showed that they can pick out what song you are listening to when given a list of 10 songs with an 85% accuracy, just by putting your brain scans through a computer. So you might look at all this and say, well, yeah, but none of that is really that impressive. None of it's really next level, until you look at this. In a study led by Dr. Adrian Nestor and Dr. Dan Nemrodov at the University of Toronto, Scarborough, have refined the ability of their machine learning program to the point where it can basically pick out images from your brain and display them. What's even more exciting about this is they are using an EEG machine instead of the bigger, bulkier, and non-transportable fMRI to make these images happen. According to Dr. Nemrodov, fMRI captures activity at the time scale of seconds, but EEG captures activity at the millisecond scale. So we can see with very fine detail how the percept of a face develops in our brain using EEG. This study proves that an EEG can pull images from the brain faster and with better clarity than an fMRI. What this is going to do is make this technology a lot cheaper. And now this isn't where they're gonna stop either. They are currently working on being able to retrieve memories and display them on a screen. And according to Adrian Nestor, it could also have forensic uses for law enforcement in gathering eyewitness information on potential suspects rather than relying on verbal descriptions provided to a sketch artist. That sounds like something out of Black Mirror, doesn't it? I know it's easy to go to the uh, dystopian future type of point of view with this, but think of the good a system like this could do. If they get this to where it can replay memories and you can see what people are thinking, will we be able to communicate with our loved ones in comas? Or what about people who can't speak? Or even as a way for people to communicate with people who can't hear? Maybe carry a little screen that'll print out what you're thinking. And heck, if this technology is so precise that it can make a face look like that, what do you think this can do for brain-computer interface? As this technology progresses, we might see a day where we can throw on a baseball cap and be able to link up to a computer instead of having something inserted into our brain. And in my mind, I think this is cool. But what do you think? Is this a technology we should be exploring? Is this something that you can see being used for wrong? Or is it pretty much positive from here on out? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to click that like button and subscribe so you know when I put out something new. My videos do come out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope to see you here again soon. And until next time, have fun and uh, be safe.